happened to Elisa Lam. Elisa Lam was a 21-year-old Canadian student studying in Vancouver. In January 2013, she went on a trip on what she intended to be a tour of numerous cities in the west coast of the USA. She began her holiday in San Diego, where she visited the zoo and she wrote about the city on her blog and then she continued on. She arrived in Los Angeles on the 26th of January. There she checked in to the Cecil Hotel. After five days of sightseeing, she was scheduled to check out and continue her journey to Santa Cruz. However, on this day, her parents never received their daily phone call from their daughter. Finding this very out of character of Elisa, they contacted the LA police and reported her disappearance. The hotel staff said that she was alone on the morning of her disappearance and the manager of a nearby bookstore who was the last person to see her alive, described her as outgoing, very lively and very friendly. She had come into his store to buy gifts for her family. The police proceeded to search the hotel with scent tracking dogs. They found nothing. On the 6th of February, the LAPD posted flyers around the neighborhood urging anyone with any information to come forward with it. A week passed by with no new leads and then the case took its first sharp turns towards the bizarre. On February the 16th, the LAPD released a surveillance video from the hotel taken on the 1st of February. The unsettling video depicts Elisa in one of the hotel's elevators acting in an extremely bizarre manner. It shows her peeking in and out of the elevator. She's hiding in the corner, pressing multiple buttons and erratically gesturing and dancing in the hallway outside the elevator. She then exits the elevator and the door slides closed and open several times before the video ends.
By the time of this video's release, the media attention around the case was heavily ramping up. It emerged that the Cecil Hotel had a long history of criminal activity, including murders and suicide. The disappearance of a young university student played heavily on the consciousness of the public and the baffling and peculiar behavior shown in the elevator spawned a myriad of theories on Elisa's disappearance, from drug intoxication to mental disorders and even demonic possessions. The single room occupancy hotel has an unusual history. Richard Ramirez, called the Night Stalker, was found guilty of 14 slayings in the 1980s. He lived on the 14th floor of the hotel for several months in 1985. Also, an international serial killer Jack Unterweger is suspected of murdering three prostitutes during the time he lived in the hotel in 1991. He killed himself in jail in 1994. In 1962, a female occupant jumped out of one of the hotel windows, killing herself and a pedestrian on whom she landed. At the same time, of Elisa's disappearance, guests of the hotel began to complain of strange tasting discolored water and low water pressure in the rooms. Employees began to investigate the plumbing of the building and this led them to a gruesome discovery in the water tanks on the roof of the building. Inside one of the tanks, floating naked next to her clothes and belongings, was the partially decomposed body of Elisa Lam. The discovery of the body brought up more questions than it seemed to answer. The autopsy found no evidence of trauma or sexual assault, no traces of illicit drugs and no evidence that Elisa had attempted suicide. It listed the death as an accidental drowning. The investigation ceased, but many vital questions remain unanswered. The water tanks in question were propped up on cement blocks without easy access, and they had heavy, difficult to displace lids, which were found closed with the body inside. Access to the roof itself was locked and alarmed. How had Elisa managed to get up there, enter the tank, and replace the lid all by herself? The video remained a prominent source of confusion and discussion, even after Elisa's body was found. Was her baffling behavior a result of a manic phase of her bipolar disorder, which she had? A lot of people proposed a more sinister alternative. Her movements can be explained as interaction with another individual not visible in the video. A pursuer. Was someone else involved in her death? Interestingly enough, it appears that the video had been altered at some point before its release. The timestamp is obscured and some parts of the video appear to be slowed down and nearly a minute of footage has been subtly removed mid-video. Also disturbing is that Elisa's blog remained active for many months after her death. Auto posting features may explain this away, but Elisa's phone was never found after her death, suggesting an alternative source of these online updates. Finally, people have made uncanny parallels between Lamb's sad demise and the Hollywood horror film Dark Water. 
The film follows the tenants of a building who experience black water coming from their taps and other eerie phenomena. It culminates in the grisly discovery of the body of a girl decaying in the rooftop water tank. Weirder still is that this movie was released in 2005, five years before Elisa's death. Other theories has also evolved to explain her actions. One theory noting the Cecil Hotel's dark past suggested that she had somehow become possessed during her stay or at least in the elevator. Some theories make the claim that she might have been playing the game called Elevator Game, who is a supposed way to travel to another dimension and back. Other suggestions is that Lam was trying to get the elevator car to move in order to escape from someone pursuing her. The death of Elisa Lam will remain a mystery.